Okay, here we go. Pretty nervous. I have some trauma around superlatives for sure. Got burned real bad by this exercise in high school. Well, let's see. Garrett Wall, most likely to be performing prostate exams down by the river. <laughs> That's fair. Jack LeClaire, most likely to blush while reading superlatives. Most likely to perform a Taylor Swift cover with her future psychiatry patients. I will do that, and it will be off the reputation era. Drew, <laughs> most uses of the phrase, for those of us who are MSTPs. I don't know, I think I have some competition for that role. Most likely to be caught sipping tea. Very true. Most likely to become a viral meme and best cat dad. Give me one second. Most improved empathy. <laughs> Guess so. <laughs> Most likely to still be running student groups when she's a resident. I intend on doing that. <laughs> Hello! Uh, most likely to run into a patient on Fire Island. <laughs> most likely to tell his SPs they will die before he gets back into the room. <laughs> most likely to go to Walgreens at 2 a.m. Solid. Did it. Great time. <laughs> Perfect. Most likely to grunt yeet when he successfully places a foley. <laughs> nice. Person I most wish I got to know. Oh, thank you, whoever you people are. <laughs> most likely to FaceTime Eric Balta every day next year, so he, he never has to eat a meal alone. <laughs> most likely to be on the next season of the Great British Bake Off, even though I'm not there. Thank you. <laughs> Kendall Burke's most likely to have already done it before you ask. <laughs> most likely to have her own reality television show. That's twice. That's what I was voted most likely in high school too. <laughs> Sophie Evans, slowest walker. Okay, that's not always true. Like, I can walk fast. Alex Skidmore voted most likely to choose a residency program based on meal allowance. The one I'm going to has a very nice cafeteria. Shout out to Kentucky for the home place of fried chicken. Sharon Nevada, most likely to make the world a better place with her kindness. Sato Tawari, most likely to become the next Dr. Oz. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch, Jewel. That's so mean. Why would you say that? I'm most worried about being called out for taking the last chicken burrito, which is a true story. Eric Balta. Uh, the worst. You know, I've worked very hard on my reputation and uh, I'm glad that I've finally got the recognition that I deserve. Most likely to be confused for a renal fellow and a pediatrics patient in the same day. <laughs> That's good. That's what happened today. Helen, best RBF. <laughs> Chase, the most likely to get punched again. <laughs> Most likely to quit drinking water in order to bring her some good fortune. Okay, I've done this, but for camping and trips, not for good fort. Well, I guess if good fortune is avoiding porta potties, yes. No problem. Most likely to be declared the winner of a tournament he never entered. Clara Gao, most likely to be an Instagram baking influencer. I thought about that. <laughs> Longest presentation of the patient's vital signs overnight. Really? I hate doing that. I hate presenting patients. Alright, Cyrus, most likely to pop off on someone who calls them octopi instead of octopodes. <laughs> Literally, like last week, I was, last week I was on the Wikipedia page for this. Eliza Thompson is most likely to have her lazy boy as the background on her phone. Most likely to draw the line between being mean and just being from New York. Highly accurate. Sasha is most likely to have <laughs> born a bike in another life. Well, I guess that's true. <laughs> Sarah Speck. Enjoy. 
best at stealing your food by plunging her face into it and slurping it up in one gulp. <laughs> you have a bowl of cereal? <laughs> and most likely to empathize with both sides in an argument that's so sweet. Aww. Love you guys.